OK. Now, the first game is called Authors. The idea of this is the contestants have each come along with the style of a famous author in mind, and I'm going to get them to tell a story using that famous author's style. So if you'd like to come forward ready to tell the story. And, uh, Richard, can you tell us uh, which author you selected? Raymond Chandler. Raymond Chandler. Jolly good. Griff? Milton. Milton. That would be John Milton, I should imagine. Well, then, yeah. Not, <laughs> not, not Milton Keynes or anything like that. Um, Paul? Sunday Sport. Sunday Sport. Does that have an author? Yes, I suppose it must do. Uh, John? Friedrich Nietzsche. Friedrich Nietzsche. <laughs> right. Now, and what we'd like... What we'd like is the title of a story, please. Could somebody suggest the title of a story? Kurt Waldheim's War Diaries. Sorry? Kurt Waldheim's War Diaries. Kurt War Diaries. Well, I hope Excellent. that's all right. Is he still alive? Can he sue? I should think that's all right. Is that what we're going to do? Yes. Right. You're not happy with that? No, no, that's fine, yeah. No. <laughs> Milton used to write a lot about that sort of thing. <laughs> Not that uh, Kurt Welton was there, but then he no, wasn't in the war either. So, uh, okay, <laughs> if you can manage that, um, uh, on you go. It was an early morning. I had just polished off my second bottle of gin and my third pack of cigarettes, and it was only nine o'clock. A little German guy walked in. I could tell by his accent. He was looking funny. I offered him gin. He didn't take it. That made me really suspicious. <laughs> Thus spake the yank, <laughs> as when a mighty whistling roar across the high mountains far from the coast of Scylla and Charybdis, and like a mighty whinging adamantine rock, <laughs> the figure of the little kraut on a simple stool. Kurt Waldheim, is he really Elvis Presley? <laughs> <laughs> we do know for a fact that he's living on the moon and that he's just given, he's just given birth to an olive. This much, <laughs> this much is pure fact. Fact fiction, it was all reality to me. I just recovered from my third nervous breakdown in Baden-Baden when somebody gave me the idea that these fishing philosophers, these high and dry and mighty philosophers, thought of everything. I found a book. A book it was by a man called Valheim. He lived in one country and said he was in another. That's what I would do. I would be in one country and think that I was indeed in another. Not again. What else could I do? The German was desperate. He stood in my office, refusing my gin and cigarettes. I took him on the road. Now... A road so long <laughs> that length, if it were as short as time itself, long would it not be that it was so long? <laughs> Can you see a picture of Hitler in this shredded wheat? <laughs> true Godhead was not, as I thought, in infinity, but infinity in a book filled, firm and solid. There it was, indeed, in my mind, in my mind it was, beating and throbbing there to the high Zarathustra, lower down to the earth. Eke homo, there the book. Eke homo, there Valheim. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, well... I, I can't distinguish any of the contestants there, so I'll give double points to Richard Kaplan.